workout is done boy my legs are like jello this is why this is why I do leg day on the days that I drive to the gym because there's no way I'm doing anybody's leg days when I'm walking it feels really really good though to be done with my workout it's only 6 30 in the morning so that is fantastic I'm gonna go home shower get ready for the day have some breakfast because I'm already hungry I did not finish my protein coffee like I mentioned so I'll finish that first and then we'll make some breakfast so for breakfast this morning, I am going to make my favorite version of avocado toast. When I did my grocery haul this last Saturday, I shared with you guys that at Trader Joe's, I picked up their little hash brown patties and I love making avocado toast out of these. It's just a really fun spin on it. So my favorite way to cook these is to just throw them in the toaster. You usually have to push the little bar down several times to get them crispy enough. I mean, as crispy as you want them. And then I just top them with some avocado. And then I'm also going to cook up an egg and I literally just make a spin of avocado toast. So let me show you how I make it. I'm also going to slice up some strawberries and get my greens going for the day. And I'm going to have my BCAAs post-workout. So we'll mix those up as well. I also am going to make a hash brown or two for Troy. He's actually headed out here pretty soon to get that window tint put on our car. So I just throw my hash browns in the toaster. And like I said, I just push it down several times until it's the crispiness that I want. And and then while that's cooking, I'll go ahead and get my egg cooking. So I'm going to cook one egg for myself, uh, not including the shell. And then I'm going to cook a couple eggs for Troy as well. So we'll do three total. I like mine over hard, so I'm going to break the yolk of my egg. I think that's a little bit better for the avocado toast. And then I'm just going to season them with the onion salt from Trader Joe's. You already know that's my favorite, favorite seasoning on eggs. And then we'll allow these to cook. I'll keep pushing the toaster button until my hash browns are nice and crispy. We'll weigh out our avocado, slice up our strawberries, and we have breakfast. So I have five strawberries chopped up here. I'm going to set my scale to grams, zero it out. Here is my hash brown, nice and crispy. And then I'm going to add in some avocado. It's been in my fridge for a couple days, so it's getting a little bit brown. I'll just scrape off the top and then we'll weigh out the avocado. So it looks like about 32 grams of avocado. And then the last thing I do is just fold my egg right on top. So here is my breakfast, my strawberries, and my little makeshift avocado, avocado toast. It looks so incredibly delicious, and I love just the crispiness of the hash brown in place of bread. So a few of you noticed a little bit of a change in my background. I used to have some just regular pillar candles and now I have these super cool 
LED candles. I really, really love these. You can make them flicker like actual candles. You can make them still. Everything is done with a remote. These are so incredibly beautiful. You can see that the flame is flickering. They are plastic and then they have the plastic candle, but a lot of you notice these in my background and so I thought that I would show them to you. It comes in a pack of five. I actually got them on Amazon. I have four of them on my bookshelves here in the back and then I have this extra one that I'm going to start putting right here on my vanity when I'm filming and I think that'll be really pretty in the background because you can actually see my vanity when I film and that'll just add a little bit of extra light because I do have the salt lamp and my candle that I turn on and then I also turn on the cactus when I film. So I thought I'd show those to you. You guys are so observant. So many of you reached out and said that you really like them. I'll link them down below for you. And when I bought them, I actually bought rechargeable batteries because they use two AA batteries per candle times five candles is 10 AA batteries. Batteries don't last that long in this type of a thing, especially if you're going to leave them on for a while. So I found these really cool rechargeable batteries, not just AA, but there's AAA there's nine volt it comes with a charger way more affordable so let me show you that that's really going to help save on going through so many batteries rechargeable batteries are really a huge money saver so my rechargeable batteries and battery charger is actually from the brand EBL I'll link it down below with any discount information for you guys I found that they have the most affordable price for not only the battery charger but the rechargeable batteries and one thing I really like about them is you can buy your batteries in bulk so for for me, I need to pick up some more of the double A since my candles take two double A per candle. Their prices are super affordable. Honestly, their batteries are cheaper than batteries that you buy at the grocery store, substantially cheaper than regular batteries, and they're rechargeable. They have great endurance. I find that these rechargeable batteries last even longer than standard batteries, and they are equipped with what's called advanced pro psychotechnology, keeping the batteries with a longer lifespan and better performance and also allowing them to be recharged up to 1200 times. That's a lot. So you buy the batteries once and you can recharge them up to 1200 times. They also have literally every size of battery from AAA all the way up to D batteries. They even have nine volt batteries like I have, which is really, really helpful for things that use nine volt batteries because nine volt batteries are super, super expensive. So I'll make sure that I link the EBL website down below, like I said, with any discounts that I have. And if you're in the market for rechargeable batteries or you have things around your house that use a lot of battery life, then highly recommend checking them out. So I'm going to put together my BCAAs, which I share with you guys all the time. This is what I take every time I do strength training at the gym. This is the 6 a.m. finish line. I have it in watermelon. I love it. It helps with soreness, fatigue, recovery. I notice a big difference in how less sore my muscles are and how much faster my muscles recover with this. So as always, I'll link it down below. I have my water bottle, so I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. How was it? That little French bulldog is so freaking cute. Quite a Yeah, and she's pleasant. Unlike rug rat alert. She opened the front door, the dog went outside and sat there. Is she a full breed? I think so, yeah. She has a nip in her Do they think pumpkin was cute? <laughs> All right, now the other supplement that I'm sharing with you guys, I've been testing out for quite a while. You can see it's actually almost gone. I reached out to the company because I was trying to get a discount code for you guys, and so it took a while for me to get a response, and they finally responded and gave me a discount code because I'm not saying this lightly when I say that I'm obsessed with this. This is the One Up Nutrition, and this is the Vegan Green and Red superfood. Now, actually one of my coaching clients told me about this and she sent me a 20% discount and I ordered it. And like I said, you can see it's almost gone. I drink it almost every single day. I don't eat enough greens. I don't get enough greens, enough fruits, vegetables every day. So I've always used a green supplement. I've actually tried several green supplements and most of them are disgusting. They taste like grass. They're not something that I look forward to drinking. I just drink them because they're good for me. This one tastes amazing. So I have the green apple flavor. I have another coaching client who I think ordered the peach and she said it was okay. So I'm gonna stick with the green apple, 
but this is incredibly delicious. It's dairy-free, soy-free, non-GMO, gluten-free, and it has all the greens that you need for an entire day. I count it as zero points. I do not even track this. I figure it's a great way to get in fruits and vegetables. It's about 18 calories for a scoop. It dissolves really well in water. It doesn't, it's not chunky, it's not gritty. It tastes so incredibly good. Like I can't believe how good it tastes. I actually look forward to having my greens every day. Now on days that I feel like I get enough greens in in the foods that I'm eating, which is not every day, not even very often, I won't have these. But every other day I'm putting these into 32 ounces of water. It's a great way to get in water. It's a great way to get in your greens. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let me show you again what it looks like. It actually, it comes in several flavors. The green apple is the only one that I've tried so far and it really is so incredibly good. So I will always buy the green apple. I may try a few of the other flavors, but I finally, like I said, got a discount code. So I'll link them down below for you. If you struggle getting in your greens or if you've been on the hunt for a green supplement that actually tastes good, highly, highly, highly recommend. Oh, I just absolutely love the One Up Nutrition. Currently happening, this dog, he goes out here in the mornings, rolls around on the hot concrete. Look at him. <laughs> weird. There's Palmer. He's so weird. Uh, it's hot and Diesel hates being hot. Look at him. Every morning he does this. Every single morning. Rolls on his back, scratches his back. These guys go out. Palmer's currently chasing a bird and Lola keeps going behind this big bush over here for some reason. And then Diesel. So it's time for some lunch. I am pretty hungry for lunch. So I bought this at Sam's Club in this last week's grocery haul. This is the oven roasted turkey breast. I wanted the peppered one, like I said, but they didn't have any. What I like about this is the quality is really, really good. And this has 13 grams of protein per serving. So for me, I find that it has the most protein of really any other lunch meat. No nitrates, nitrites, no artificial flavors or colors. Just really good quality lunch meat. And then I always spread a wedge of Laughing Cow cheese over it. And then I've been loving this Maine maple champagne mustard that I picked up with my mother-in-law at this cute little kitchen store outside of Tucson. I have some orange bell peppers that I need to eat. And then I think for a crunchy snack today, I'm going to have the Quest protein chips. I bought these also at Sam's Club, and I've been loving these as a crunchy snack. And they have 18 grams of protein, so that is nothing to sneeze at. So let me make up my lunch, and I'll show you exactly what I'm having. So a serving of the turkey is 62 grams, so I have my scale set to grams, and it looks like it's going to be roughly three slices per the nutrition information. So there are three slices, and that is 64 grams, so really, really close to the serving, so we're gonna go with that. And then I take a wedge of Laughing Cow cheese, and I spread that over my turkey. So basically, I'm making a turkey roll-up. This is one of my favorite, favorite lunches. Super, super high in protein, low in carbs, so that I can reserve my carbs for yumminess like Quest chips. And then I take some mustard, the mustard is zero points and I spread just about a teaspoon or so right on top of the laughing cow cheese and then I literally just roll it up and it is so good with the cheese and the mustard and then the turkey super good super super filling and then like I said I want to finish up these few bell peppers that I cut up a little while ago that'll be my veggie with lunch and then my bag of Quest chips. So that's my lunch for today. Of course, I'll put points, calories, protein here on the screen. So really quickly, while I am eating lunch, I'm telling you, make this. It's incredibly delicious. I filmed a Q&A when I lost 100 pounds, like how I lost 100 pounds, and answered a lot of your questions when it came to losing 100 pounds. But I'm getting a lot of questions in the form of DMs, in my Facebook group, on my YouTube channel. So I was wondering if you guys would be interested in another weight loss Q&A where you can ask more questions on weight loss. Also, also, it's time for another answering questions that I've been avoiding because I've been getting a lot of comments and questions that I literally have been avoiding. 
and it's time to address them. It's time to answer them, respond to them. So I thought that we could do a juicy kind of Q&A. Post it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I'll pop my Instagram right here. I'm on there all the time. That's really the best way to keep up with me day to day. But I posted on there and asked if they were interested in a weight loss Q&A and it was a renowning yes. So I thought that what we could do is if you have questions regarding weight loss or just questions in general, leave them in the comments. I will write them all down and I will film another weight loss Q&A and answer all of your burning questions when it comes to really anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch. I have another coaching call here in an hour. I need to make a quick run to the post office. I have to mail some packages and then I think my wedding ring is ready to be picked up. I actually mailed it to Washington to have it sized. So, and they tried to deliver it when we weren't here. Actually, we were at Crumble Cookie when they tried to deliver it. So I was gonna see if it was at the post office and I could pick it up because I've been without my wedding ring now for a couple of weeks. So let me finish my lunch and we'll head to the post office. I was watching a YouTube video because I do watch a lot of YouTube myself. Not a lot of weight loss YouTube. I watch a lot of beauty YouTube and then just more vlog channels and somebody went to Crumble Cookies and I had never been to Crumble Cookies. I've heard of it and I've heard how amazing they are but I've never been. We actually did not have Crumble Cookies in Washington so I decided that I would look it up and guess what? To my pleasant surprise there are actually two Crumble Cookies in Tucson. One of them is about a 20 minute drive from us and the other one is about a 45 minute drive for us. So I convinced Troy to take me to Crumble Cookies on Sunday so that we could try them out. And I ended up filming a fun little clip on Instagram of the four cookies that we picked and then both Troy and I taste testing them. And you guys are always asking to see Troy in my videos. So I made sure that he was part of that video as well. So I'm going to insert the clips here that I took of that Crumble Cookie taste test. I didn't track the calories or the points. I had one little bite of each cookie and listen, it's about balance and living my life and trying crumble cookies. And spoiler alert, they were delicious. In fact, this next weekend, we are heading to my in-laws for dinner on Saturday. And my mother-in-law had never even heard of them. I was like, do you live under a rock? Because who hasn't heard of crumble cookies? I mean, I'd heard of them, I just hadn't tried them. So we're gonna go back and buy some cookies so my in-laws can try them. My father-in-law loves cookies, so I know he is going to be super excited. So I'll insert those clips here for you. Super, super fun, and again, the cookies, incredible. So we're back with our crumble cookies. This is our first time trying these, I'm very excited. So we got the fruit pizza, the chocolate chip, milk chocolate chip. This is a maple, it looks really good. And then we got the Oreo cookie. Oh, your head's cut off. <laughs> so first we're gonna try the Oreo, they're still warm. Oh mm, gosh, that is so good. Yeah, good. Mm. Really good, it tastes like cake, like chocolate cake, brownie. Okay, now we have the maple. Ooh, it smells like syrup. Oh gosh, that's good too. Yeah. Mm. It tastes really buttery. Like pancakes, like pancakes with syrup. I'm good at it. Mm. Mm. Next up is the milk chocolate chip. Oh. Mmm, that's good. Too chocolatey. <laughs> uh, he doesn't like chocolate, but it, it's really good. It has a really good flavor and I love how crispy it is, but then soft on the inside. All right, last one is the fruit pizza. Looks like a sugar cookie with cream cheese. Mmm. I love it. Mmm, that's my favorite, I think. It has a really good cream cheese frosting. That would be better with? Mm. Beer. No. Okay, so we're gonna rank them, the Oreo, the maple, the chocolate chip, and the fruit pizza. So which one is your favorite out of all of them? That's fruit. The fruit pizza? Fruit, yeah. And then what's number two? I agree with you on that. Oreo. Number two for me is the Oreo, yep. And then I would say number three is the maple. Yeah. And then last is the chocolate chip. Not that the chocolate chip like isn't chocolate. good, but the other three are just better. 
All right, we are headed to the post office and then I think I'm going to run to Green Valley, which is like a 10 minute drive from me and pop into a tattoo shop there because I wanna get this tattoo on my arm finished. It is not finished. And then I'm also looking at getting a tattoo in remembrance of my weight loss. I don't really wanna to give too many details because I want it to kind of be a surprise. So I'm gonna stop in there and just see what the place is like, see what their prices are, how long out they are. I'm really looking for how clean they are, how friendly they are. So we're going to make a quick pit stop there. And those are the only two things I'm planning on doing, but we never know where the day is going to take us. Okay. I have you guys set up in my car because I'm currently driving to the tattoo place. One exciting thing. Look what's back. I actually had my wedding ring sized when we bought my wedding ring in Washington. The place that we bought it from has lifetime sizing. So all I had to do was send it to Washington and they sized it for free. This is really exciting guys. This is like a huge, huge NSV. So my ring size, my wedding ring prior was a size seven, which is still not a large size, honestly, but this sucker right here is a five and a quarter. So my ring size went down almost two full sizes. In fact, she said I could have sized down to a five, but we decided to do a five and a quarter because it's hot here and my fingers can swell up with the Arizona heat. So it's back and it's a size five and a quarter, which just literally blows my mind. She said that losing one ring size, so going from like a seven to a six, is really like losing almost 10 clothing sizes. So she was like, what happened? How did this happen? You must have lost a lot of weight. So I gave her kind of the rundown of everything. But yeah, it's exciting. It fits really good. I mean, it's definitely a little snug, but it definitely, but it also goes on and off just fine. And like I said, I could have sized down to a five. We opted for a five and a quarter just to make sure that it fit and wasn't too too tight when it was warm out. So it's actually an interesting day today. It's 94, but it's really overcast. We're in monsoon season here. So it rains like a teeny bit every single day. So it's kind of nice to not be in the hundreds for a little bit. Although I love the heat, the dry heat. It's nice to get a little bit of a reprieve from that. So I am now heading to the tattoo place to see what they say about my arm and about my weight loss tattoo. And then I'm debating on if I want to go to a store and do some shopping, like whether that be Ross or Bells or TJ Maxx. I don't know yet. All right, tattoo went great. Super nice guy, super normal. I always say that a lot of times tattoo artists aren't very normal. He was very, very nice. I have an appointment on August 4th to finish my arm, get my weight loss tattoo. So definitely stay tuned for a future vlog for that. But I think I'm just gonna head home. I'm a little bit hungry, so I wanna be able to have a healthy afternoon snack. So let's go home, have a snack. So I am going to make an afternoon snack now that I am home. So to no surprise to anybody, I'm going to do a rice cake. These are the organic brown rice cakes from Sprouts. They're the actual Sprouts brand. I did buy the ones at Trader Joe's, but I'm trying to finish up these ones from Sprouts first. They're 25 calories a piece, one point. And then I shared this in last week's What I Eat in a Day, and I've really been loving this one. This is the Starberry Blast Almond Butter from American Dream Nut Butter. This is one of their brand new flavors, and it is so good. It literally tastes like strawberry shortcake. I mean, it is so incredibly delicious. I love American Dream Nut Butter. I eat it every single day. They have almond butter, peanut butter, and cashew butter. There's lots of good stuff mix-ins in here. So you can see their sprinkles and pieces of strawberry and cookie pieces. It is so, so good. So I usually just give it a quick stir and then I'm going to have one tablespoon, which is 14 grams on my rice cake. So I'm gonna zero that out and add my nut butter until I'm at 14 grams. And a tablespoon is the perfect amount for this rice cake. There's 14 grams on the nose, so I'm going to spread that out. I can smell the strawberry. It smells so good. And then I'm going to have a cheese stick. So I will link the American Dream Nut Butter down below for you with 10% off. I literally have like 12 different containers. It is so good, you cannot go wrong with any of them. I would say that my favorites are the peanut butters and the almond butter but I know a lot of people really love the cashew butter. I just generally gravitate towards the peanut butter and almond butter, but highly, highly recommend Starberry Blast. 
Oh, I didn't tell you, it's 7.4 grams of protein for two tablespoons, 5.7 carbs, 10.8 fat, and only 141 calories for two tablespoons. So less calories substantially than regular peanut butter and so much better. So here is my snack, my nut butter on a rice cake and a string cheese. By the way, this is a perfect snack. We have a fast acting carb, healthy fats and protein in the peanut butter and then protein in the cheese stick. For dinner tonight, we are making a recipe in the crock pot because we don't wanna turn our stove on when it's over 100 degrees. So I did go ahead and put a liner in my crock pot. We are making barbecue chicken taquito. So the first thing we need to do is actually get our chicken co cooking in the slow cooker. So I added my chicken to the crock pot and then I'm going to add some of the Sweet Baby Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce right on top. You want about a cup of barbecue sauce total. And then I'm setting my slow cooker to low for about three and a half hours. So we'll set it on low, three and a half hours. We wanna make sure the chicken is cooked completely through. Three hours later. Once your chicken's done cooking, we're going to remove it and put it into a small bowl. Go ahead and leave any liquid in your crock pot. To the liquid in the crock pot, add two teaspoons of cornstarch and then whisk that until it starts to thicken. We're going to go ahead and shred the chicken. We're adding four ounces of one third less fat cream cheese, one cup of light shredded cheese, Go ahead and mix that together and then we're going to add in the thickened barbecue sauce straight from the crock pot. And then stir that in. And lastly, you can add some fresh cilantro if you would like. I am out of fresh cilantro, so I'm going to add in just a little bit of dried cilantro. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees and make sure you get out a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. I'm going to be using the La Tortilla Factory Low Carb Tortillas. Here is our mixture, it looks so good. So we're going to roll up the mixture into the tortillas. I'm not sure exactly how many taquitos we'll get. We're going to do about a half of a cup of the mixture per tortilla. Spread that out in the middle and then we're going to roll it up. Place the sealed side down on your parchment lined baking sheet and repeat until you've used all of the chicken mixture. So I ended up with six. I decided to make more supersized taquitos. These are more like burrito style rather than making the little tiny ones just because these are pretty big shells for tiny little taquitos. I'm going to spray them with some nonstick cooking spray that just helps them crisp up a little bit. And I'm going to throw them into my oven until nice and crispy. You could also throw these in your air fryer. With the taquitos, I'm gonna make this everything chopped salad kit. I actually got this from Imperfect Food. So it says green leaf lettuce, shredded broccoli, Savoy cabbage, mini bagel toast, carrot, green onion, everything but the bagel seasoning with an everything seasoned ranch dressing. So we're gonna have that with the taquito. All right, dinner is served. This looks so good. So I have half of a serving of the everything bagel chopped salad. I went ahead and just did a half a serving for myself. I'm not overly hungry for dinner and I wanted to make sure that I left room for the taquito because that is where I'm getting in the majority of my protein. So I have one of the barbecue chicken taquitos and then I have two tablespoons of full fat daisy sour cream and 20 grams of fresh avocado. So this looks absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to dig in. And for dessert tonight, I'm having the made good Crispy Square, this is a healthier alternative to a Rice Krispie Treat, really, really good, 80 calories, just the perfect size sweet treat. And like I said, just better ingredients than the Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats that you can buy in a store, and really a good size for the points and calories. joining me 
for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. We had a fun day. The crumble cookie taste test, getting a little glimpse of Troy, all the new products that I shared with you, tonight's dinner recipe. We had a really good day. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us. We'd love to have you. Leave all your questions for the weight loss Q&A so that I can add you to the list of questions. I'll be filming that here shortly because like I said, I'm getting lots and lots of new questions. We have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome. Leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching, friends, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.